Hi, my name is Connie, and today we are going to review some popular GNIBs on the market. First up, we have Nico G, Tashikawa G, Zebra G, and the Titanium Zebra G. If you see where my finger is pointing, there are two holes in the shape of G, and that is why these nibs are called the G nibs. Some of the lesser known ones are the Leonard G, and there are two with ink cages, which are Nico and Zebra. And you can see the ink cages simply mean that there are springs in the back, so this nib allows you to hold more ink without constantly dipping. So for the following nibs, I won't be demonstrating the ones with ink cages because they have the same properties as the original nib. The Nico G is a nib with fairly medium flex. It's smooth with no scratchiness and it's recommended by Master Penman Michael Soul. He almost exclusively uses Nico G for his work. The Tachikawa G is my personal favorite. It produces finer hairlines, as you can see later, um, and it's more flexible than the Nico G. The price is a little higher. The Nico G is at around 155 per nib, and the Tachikawa is around 240. I have heard complaints about the Tachikawa not willing to start, so a lot of people have to keep a separate sheet of scrap paper aside to try to get it to start. And if you look on jetpens.com, there are a bunch of reviews with people using really extraordinary measures trying to get the oil off the nib. Some people rub it with lemon and boil it in water. Um, I have found that if I just use rubbing alcohol and if that doesn't work, I run it slightly through fire and I've never really had that problem with the Tachikawa. The Zebra G produces finer hairlines than both the Nico G and the Tachikawa G. It is much sharper than the other two, but it is still a very smooth nib. The only difference is that with the same amount of pressure applied on Nico G and Tachikawa G, on the Zebra, that pressure would not give you as dramatic of a shading. So the difference between the hairline and the swell requires you to put more pressure to achieve the same results. The Titanium Zebra G is an upgrade from the normal chrome-plated steel version. It is more flexible, but it also produces thicker hairlines. The price difference is around $250. The Zebra Titanium is $450 per nib, and the Zebra is $195 per nib. Is it worth that investment? I think if you really like the Zebra G nib, and you write a lot, the Zebra Titanium would last you a lot longer. But would I prefer, say, the Nico G over the Zebra Titanium? I think I would still go with the Nico G, just because the hairlines are a lot thinner. The Leonard G nib is the cheapest out of all the above. It is only 140 per nib. However, it's also my least favorite. Um, even writing on Rhodia paper, which is already really smooth, it's scratchy and you can hear it, it's really loud. The hairline is fairly like the Nico G, but it is quite impossible to write on paper that is not smooth or just copy paper. Um, so I really don't think this is a worth it buy. Finally, a little bit about the ink cages. Um, as you can see, the spring is very close to where you're writing so if your nib gets really close to the paper the spring is very likely to get caught on the paper and splatter ink all over that being said that does not happen that often is that a worth it investment though because the normal pricing is around two one 150 to two dollars and the ones with ink cages goes for five to six dollars I think that if, unless you really write a lot, a lot of envelopes and you use Nico G and Zebra G exclusively without doing any flourishing, just plain writing, where your spring won't get that close to the paper, I think this would be a worth it investment. 
If you like this video, please click the like button and subscribe to my channel. Links to purchase the nibs will be in the description below, and let me know in the comments what nibs you would like to see reviewed, and I will see all you calligraphy nerds next time.